welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about how to get fit or how to get active in 2021. So it's the beginning of 2021 and we were hoping that the world would be back to normal by now, but it's not. And you still have these goals that keep getting pushed further and further, further back. There's a million reasons why you maybe aren't doing it and don't beat yourself up about it that you haven't been doing it. I've got awesome tips to help you get active and get fit no matter where you are in the world or how much of a lockdown you're in. These tips are really going to change the next weeks for you if you start implementing it. And don't turn it off after I tell you one tip because each tip is just as important. And one of these tips might really change your life even though you know the first five. The last two might be the ones that really change things for you. First tip is coming up with many different options of exercises. Write them all down. Come up with multiple, like a long list of ways you can be active or exercise, whether it's in your home or around your neighborhood. What can you do for activity? For example, for me, it might be different for you, but I can weight lift, I can go for a walk, I can go cross country skiing, I can get on my Stairmaster, um, I can do a spin class on YouTube, or I can just dance around, or I can do yoga. So many classes on YouTube, and that's just some of them. Make a long list of different ways you can be active, and keep it right in front of you, or keep it in your notes in your phone, so you just, you know all the ways you can be active. It's not just one or two things, there's so many different ways we can be active. And if you're trying to get fit, if you're trying to get active, it's not a one way. It's finding ways to just move more. Number two is just start. That sounds crazy. That's how I get myself to do most things is I don't think about the whole process, the torturous process. I think about just the beginning. If I want to go for a walk, I'm not like, oh, I have to walk for 45 minutes or get 5,000 steps in, whatever my goal is. I'm like, just Go to the end of the block, and if you're hating it, you can come back. Just get to the end of the block. And by the time I get to the end of the block, I'm like, oh, fresh air, it's so nice. Oh, this podcast, I'm getting into it. And then I keep going. 99% of the time, if I just start, I keep going. Same thing when I want to lift weights. Like, I'm not always feeling it either. I'm just like, get into the gym and start warming up. Do your warm up. If after the warm up you're just not feeling it, you can stop. But once I get the music blaring, I'm warming up, I get into it and I keep going. <laughs> it's as simple as just starting. Just do the first minute. Don't think about how long it's going to be. Think about just the beginning. Just get going. The hardest part is to start. So don't think about the rest of the routine. Just think about starting right now. Start. That's it, and I guarantee most of the time you will keep going. Every once in a while, let's say if it's my time of the month, or if I really didn't sleep well, and I probably needed a rest day, I just wasn't sure. Like sometimes I have stopped, but that's like 1% of the time. So it's almost foolproof. Number three is to have fun. Like you need to make movement fun. You know, if you know that you love to dance and that to you doesn't feel like exercise, then you should be dancing multiple times a week. You know, for me, going out on a walk doesn't feel like exercise. It, it's meditative for me, it's getting the fresh air, it puts me in a good mood, a good headspace, it's de-stressing, it's so much more than just exercise. So for me, going for a walk is almost self-care, right? So find something that's like that for you. Is it dance? Is it yoga? Try to think of back when you were a kid, like what did you do without even thinking about it? Maybe it's playing sports, going to play uh, fetch in the yard, or I guess that's with the dog, but what's it called? When you th throw the ball back and forth. Obviously I never did that. Or ping pong, like do you love ping pong and that's just moving? Or do you like some, you know, we fitness games or do you like to learn tiktok dances you know go for it that's still movement find something that you enjoy that's movement and incorporate that into your daily routine number four is to get specific what i mean by that is if you're like oh i want to lift weights three times a week okay well then you wake up and you're like okay today i'm lifting weights and then you have to decide what to do for how long what program to follow there's so many decisions you need to make that there's a good chance along the way you might not do it. So before you get to that point, 
choose which workouts you're gonna do. Choose the program you need to follow. You know, whether you need to buy a program, find a free program online. There's so many free workouts that you can do. So choose them in advance and have them ready. You know, if you're walking path, like have your walking path decided and determine how long it is. If you like cross country skiing or snowshoeing, have your equipment handy in your closet with your clothes ready to go that you don't need to go find it out of the barn or basement or wherever your storage is. The less you need to decide on what you're gonna do that day, the more likely that you're gonna do it. Because if you're like, oh, I should, well then you still don't know what to do, then there's too many steps that you might change your mind. So have that already ready and specific so you know exactly what to do. Number five is choose the right time of day. I've talked about this before and this is so crucial. I've seen it so many times that people think that they're night workout people, but they tend to always come up with an excuse why they can't do it at night. So just because you enjoy working out at night, if things keep coming up at night, then that's not the best time. You need to find a time that you're less likely to skip, that there's less likely things that are gonna distract you or interfere during that time. So let's say at night, you keep skipping your workout because you know you just can't go without a glass of wine after work, I get it, but maybe try a different time. If things are going on after work and you wanna be social, so you skip your workout, you're gonna to have to find a different time. If you keep hitting snooze in the morning, you're gonna to have to find a different time. Maybe find time on your lunch break. Can you incorporate activity on your lunch break? Try a different time. There is more time than you think. You can find 30 minutes in your day. I promise that you won't skip, whether it's morning, lunchtime, or after work, or when you put the kids down. You need to find a time that you can actually do. If you keep working through your lunch break every day, then you need to do it before work. It might not be your best perfect workout time, but it's a time that you're not gonna skip. For me, my favorite workout time is like nine or 10 a.m., but I work at that time. So I have to do it first thing in the morning because if I wait till lunchtime, I don't wanna do it anymore. So find that time for you. All right, my last and favorite point is to reward yourself. For me, I like to trick my brain into almost like a kid. If I do the task, I get a reward. Simple as that. If I do the task, I get a reward. That's how we get kids to do stuff. We get them to do a chore and then we celebrate it. Um, get them to do you know, their homework and then they get TV time. I don't know, you can call it bribery, I don't know, but it worked for my parents and so I use that still to this day on myself. When I don't wanna do something or I'm trying to create a new routine or get myself to do a task I don't wanna do, I always plan my reward afterwards. Do this with your exercise. So, you know, after you exercise, you get that reward. It could be many things. You decide what would be awesome after that activity. So maybe it's a bath, maybe it's your breakfast, maybe it's coffee. If you're working out at nighttime, maybe it's wine break, maybe you get some social media scrolling time afterwards. And maybe you get to watch Netflix after, or you get some social time, whatever works for you. So if you get a reward after working out, then not only do you feel good because you did what you wanted to do, but you get an extra reward. So you get extra like endorphins and happy feelings afterwards. And it works like a charm. You can use this for any task. Even today, filming this YouTube video, I was feeling a little low energy, but I told myself, okay, as soon as you're done this video, you can get a reward. And I did it. And this is my reward. And now I'm extra proud of myself for doing it. And I get an extra reward. It feels so good to get it done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you incorporate any of these tips. If you have some extra tips that work really good for you, just share them down below. I'd love to see what you do. Stay on top of it to get yourself motivated. Little tricks that you use. I mean, I'm always looking for more because I want to help you guys as much as possible. And if it's just one little thing that helps you get active, get fit, then I'm happy to share it with you. So I'll see you soon in the next one.